Hey, it's Mike, and today I want to talk about who controls GameStop or who owns GameStop. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I am doing cash secure puts on GameStop. I've been doing that uh, for well over a month since Ryan Cohen took uh, an almost 10% stake in the company, and it's been doing really well for me. I've had seven successful cash secure puts uh, trades done in the past, like 42 or 43 trading days, and I have another one open. It's a cash secure put expiring this October 30th at the 1450 strike, and uh, I'm take I'm aiming to take a 50% profit. So hopefully GameStop will just stay above the 1450, and I can close out that next successful trade. However, I, let's talk about who owns GameStop. Before I get started, if you want to leave a like on this video, that'll help you discover more GameStop stocks. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I do multiple updates on various stocks that you'll want to know about. So in order to find out who controls GameStop, you want to go here. This is GameStop's investor relations, and they have something called an ownership summary. And you can see right here who owns um, large chunks of the company. Now, the first two names you'll notice here is BlackRock owns 15% of the outstanding shares and the filing date is as of the last day of June. And Fidelity owns 14%. So between BlackRock and Fidelity, they own 30% of the outstanding shares. And then you have RC Ventures, which is Ryan Cohen's uh, share uh, company. And they own, uh, I think that's eight and a half or six, that's six and a half million shares at, um, 10%. And you, as you can see here, this filing was of um, September 21st. So this was the filing that caused the stock to pop. But the reason why um, I'm just showing the importance of this is that these are pretty much the three entities that control 40% of the outstanding shares. So I think it's very good to watch what these companies are going to do. Now, if BlackRock and Fidelity decide to um, cut down their ownership stake in GameStop, I would not worry about it because let's say the company they have, let's say their average cost of GameStop is 6 or $7. So let's say they've doubled their money in the past four or five months. They may say, okay, we're going to take our profit and move on to another opportunity. I would not worry about BlackRock or Fidelity or Vanguard or anyone else or this is also, let me just mention Senvest. This was another reason why the stock pop was on October 7th. They uh, had, uh, mentioned that they had a 5.5% stake in the company. That was another reason why GameStop popped. Now, I would not worry about any of these companies here lowering their ownership stake in GameStop if they made, you know, a lot of money. The only person I'm watching right now is RC Ventures. This is Ryan Cohen because He's the only reason why I'm really into the stock because he was the founder of Chewy.com and he wants to transform GameStop into an Amazon competitor. So I am definitely going to watch the ownership summary and look at RC Ventures just to make sure that he's he's continuing to hold on to his outstanding shares to if he's adding to his shares. Even if he cuts down a little, that's okay. But if he begins to cut down his shares dramatically, it might be because he doesn't believe he can transform GameStop into an Amazon competitor. So that's why I just wanted to make you aware of this page and just show you where you can find this, just so you can see who owns it and you can see the filing dates. If you see new investors coming in, new major investors coming in, that would be a great sign for GameStop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to sh like, share, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.